Hi, I'm Mary Morrissey, author of two best-selling books, No Less Than Greatness and Building Your Field of Dreams, which was turned into a PBS special. The three foundations of every great New Year's resolution. So you've probably made New Year's resolutions in the past, I have, and I used to make New Year's resolutions without knowing that they weren't great New Year's resolutions. They might have been okay resolutions, they might have been good resolutions, but they were not great resolutions, and I can tell you why. Because after about six or eight weeks, I was no longer living from that resolution. It was a resolution I had instead of a resolution I was living from. And it was long before, that, that kind of resolution setting was long before I understood what was required for real transformation. So, see, real transformation is when we set a vision for ourselves that's coming from not what we think we should do, not what we think we should or have to or must do, but what we would love to be and what we would love to have in our life and what we would love our lives to be like. Because a resolution that is set in willpower has force and push to it. And over time, we get tired. It's like taking a great big rubber ball and pushing it down under the water in a swimming pool and you hold it there and hold it there. I'm gonna change my life, I'm gonna change my life, I'm gonna change my life. And you can do it for a while and then you get tired or you get distracted and boop, the pattern, the, the old habit just pops right up again. So the three foundations of a great New Year's resolution. There's three Ds for a great New Year's resolution. Number one, this is where you design what you would love your life to be like a year from now. It might include dropping that extra 10 pounds. It might include learning to dance or throw pots or start your business. It might include a number of things, climb that mountain you've been thinking about. But it would all, all of the design part of your New Year's resolutions come from a life you would love rather than a life you think you should or must or have to create. So when we resolve, we can create a resolution, but we have to resolve. And the power, not the force, not the push, the power of a resolution is that the design of it is coming from something we would love. The second power of a great New Year's resolution is that we make a decision. We're not maybe and sort of and kind of living from this resolution. We're decided. You know, if you got married, you made a decision. You walked in a single person, you walked out a married person, and you lived according to a decision that you proclaimed to be true for yourself. And you weren't kind of married, and you weren't sort of married, you were married. And when you became a mom or a dad, you weren't kind of or sort of, you lived into that. And there were probably times when you didn't feel like it. That baby called at three, you know, cried or called at 3 a.m. in the morning. You might not have felt like getting up, but you did anyway, because you were committed to something that really mattered to you. Your resolution will have to matter that much to you. That's why my encouragement to you is to have it be something you love. You design a resolution, and then you decide for the resolution. I used to be this way, and now I'm this way. And you don't even have to be perfect. But if you are more this way than the old way, you're going to find your life really changing. You decide. So you've designed, you decide. And then the third D for a great New Year's resolution is you practice deserving the life that you've imagined, the life that you would love living. If it's drop that 10 pounds, if it's find the love of your life, if it's start the new business, if it's double your income, whatever it is, you choose a life you would love living. You design it, you decide, I'm gonna do and be this person and have this life. And then what'll come up inside of you is, can I really do it? Can I really be it? And I wanted to tell you something about why you would deserve a life you love living. You didn't create yourself. You can't even breathe yourself. What woke you up this morning is not just you personally. Not one of us can be at our heart, not even one time. There's something wonderful happening with you, something sacred happening with you. It's this thing called life. And it's actually beckoning to you. It's calling to you to live a greater, freer, fuller life, the same way it's calling to the tree to grow into its next emergence this year, the way it's calling to a little blade of grass to press through cement or press through the snow, seeking its greater expression of being the best blade of grassness it's ever been. And that same life energy is calling you to be more and give more and have more and share more and live more than ever before. So set a resolution that you would love. Decide for it. You've designed it, now decide for it. And then you deserve a life you love living because life itself is seeking to live a greater life by means of itself in the earthworm and the robin and the blade of grass. And by means of you, 
and by means of me. Make it your very best year ever. And click the button below and receive your absolutely free resource on how to make this year your very best year ever.